Hey there awesome and amazing people, my name is Susonus and welcome back to an Atlas update info video. In this update video, oh my god I just see this now. <laughs> Arr, you found me, if you have any Atlas, oh my god. If you don't know this thing over here, this, this was previously in the old, old uh, Microsoft thing. Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. So a big update is coming at the end of March and this will bring a lot of changes and also a lot of new things. And the biggest change is, at least the biggest thing that is going to happen is an official server wipe. The whole official server is going to be wiped. All the grids are going to be wiped, your character is gone, all your structures are gone and everything because they're gonna change a lot of stuff up and uh, that's why uh, they think uh, a wipe is needed and I think it is good to uh, do a wipe that way. And I think in the future there will be a chance to get a wipe again. So uh, yeah, don't get too attached to all your things. And it is also part of early access, isn't it? A lot of early access games uh, do have wipes in them and do uh, server wipes and all the kind of things. And yeah, when it is needed, it is needed. And apparently it is needed. And if you're already playing on the servers, then just before the wipe, you're gonna get a gift. And the gift will be this head skin. And that is just a gift for you uh, to sh uh, show the appreciation of Studio, I want to say Studio Wildcard, of Studio Grapeshot for being there uh, with them in early access and uh, being prior to the wipe over there and uh, to test the game out because that is what we do we test the game out of course we play the game but we also test the game out and in early access you can expect wipes this March update is big and it has some huge milestones and the primary milestones are the world redesign so they're gonna redesign the world and that is with the new underwater trench and also some island things they're gonna change up the the claim flag stuff well that is going to change a lot and also a new war system and they have also secondary milestones uh, ship of the dam guillotine submarine play shops uh, quality life of improvements vitamin rebalance a giant crab is going to be added box crashing uh, curses and cosmetics with a new update Claiming flags will be changed because now yeah, you can litter islands with claim flags and all the kind of things Well, those claim flags will be gone You can now only have one claim flag on an island and uh, yeah If you uh, put a claim flag on it, then it will turn into a settlement So people can build anywhere everywhere they want so they are not restricted to those uh, regions of a claim flag no you can build on any island just like in lawless regions where you can build without a claim flag but if you want to have a settlement then you can place a claim flag on an island and there can only be one claim flag on an island so you cannot have two companies two different companies on one island uh, to have each a claim flag on it no only one can do it and this claim flag stuff is only for pvp for pve they're gonna remove the claim flag system it is completely gone for pve you can build anywhere you want except for the uh, home parts uh, the free parts and uh, for the golden age ruins those islands you cannot build on but on all the other islands you can just build and you're no longer restricted so if you find an island where people are already building on well you can build on these islands now as well and they are not littered with claim flags and I think that is really awesome and that will help out a lot especially on official where you have thousands and thousands of people playing and it was a pain in the bum with all those claim flags all over the place and this also means that the tag system on PvE will be gone then as well. I think I have make mixed feelings about this because it was part of the game and uh, it was part of the gameplay. I know some people hate it and other people love it and I think well yeah I don't know uh, indeed like I say mixed feelings about that and I'm curious what do you think of this for PvP uh, the tag system will still be a thing and uh, yeah you can only have a certain amount of islands per company and also per company the limit has been reduced to 250 members and an alliance can now only contain a maximum of four companies and a company can only have two different alliances so uh, in total you can be in an alliance with eight companies max if you have a settlement you need to pay upkeep and you do that through your tax bank and this will be um, done with resources so you need to pay resources to have a settlement 
And the upkeep cost will scale with the size of an island. So that means that the bigger the island, the more upkeep cost you have. And also the total number of claim flags a company has will influence the upkeep. And also how many different companies and players are building on that island. And if you have a settlement, then you need to put in a window time uh, when you are vulnerable. So that means war will change as well. PvP will change a lot. Because now you can just simply go to an island, raid it and all that kind of things. Well, that will not be the case anymore. You need to pay also if you want to raid. What? Do I need to pay? Yes, you need to pay for raiding. What does that mean? Well, you need to buy a war token. And uh, this war token can be used to declare war on an island. And uh, when the war is declared on an island, players must select a schedule of time in the future. Three days to a week in the future. So PvP servers are basically going to turn into PvE PvP servers. At least for the islands it is, for raiding. Of course on the open sea you can still shoot each other down and all that kind of things. But for raiding an island, you have to declare a war. And on settlement islands, building rules will also be different because the owner of the settlement will be able to build mortar, cannons and all the kind of things on their island outside of wartime. And other companies cannot do that. They can only build defensive structures like Pockle at any time. But the other companies can build offensive structures only during the wartime. So when it is wartime, they can place mortar and can cannons and other kind of things, but not outside of wartime. And for the settlement owners, your structures, your players and other kind of things will not take damage from players outside of wartime. But however, settlement owners can freely damage other characters and structures on their island. So if you own a settlement and other people are going to start building on it, you can raid them, you can destroy them, you can kill them. But they cannot kill you, they cannot raid you outside of wartime. And I think that gives me mixed feelings. I think... It would be more the case like, well, if you build on an island and uh, com uh, the settlement owner decides to attack you, that you will be allowed to attack back. And if they don't attack you, then you cannot attack back. But yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, mixed feelings about it. And again, curious, what do you think of this? Like I said earlier, PvE will have no claim flags. They do, however, take damage over time, the structures. And uh, that means that there will be a new structure available, the auto repair system structure. And um, yeah, you have to pay upkeep for it and then you can keep your buildings. And otherwise it will decay over time and uh, then it will be destroyed. It is not like, well, it decays over time and then, for example, after a week people can claim the stuff or can destroy the stuff. No, it will simply be destroyed. Again, mixed feelings about this. Why let it be destroyed over time? Why not make it that it will be still there, but other people can claim it until, for example, a player uh, pays the upkeep again? A lot of mixed feelings. <laughs> And for the world redesign, they're gonna add more islands to the network. They say about 200 islands are going to be added to the official networks. So that is about one island per grid. And the submarine is also coming with this update and it looks cool. You can see it here in action and I think it really looks cool. It looks awesome and uh, this will be fun. And uh, yeah, you have to use this one uh, to dive down in a new sea trench, the ocean trench. And I think that is really cool uh, Yeah, to, to explore. And also you can use it to uh, yeah, demolish uh, shipwrecks and that kind of things. I think that is cool. It doesn't have any weapons, but it will have a claw. So with the claws you can harvest resources and that kind of things. And the submarine will also be having a flashlight, so it will uh, light up surroundings. It will require fuel to run. And the fuel will be based on movement. So the more you move, the more it uses. And if you want to have the submarine, you need to unlock it. And how to unlock it? Well, you need to defeat the Kraken. So, uh, yeah, before you see people doing this uh, thing with the submarine, well, you need to defeat the Kraken first. And that means you need to get power stones first before you can spawn in the Kraken. So this will be tough. <laughs> Well, the deep ocean trends, like I said, will be new, a new biome uh, that will be added. And I think that is really cool to see this happening. And in the, these biomes, you can also find new creatures. And the new creature is the giant crab. And this giant crab, you can tame, you can tame it. So if you have played Ark, well, it is basically the same creature as in Ark, the Kakinos, or something like that. The giant crab in Ark, it is uh, a reskin. Of it and uh, for now it also has the same mechanics so you can uh, pick up carry creatures players and you can throw them away you can jump really far 
and uh, they have also said that these abilities may change over time uh, with progression of the atlas development so i wonder uh, how do we tame this creature because my god it is underwater it is deep and there will also be a new environment and that is the eastern tundra i think it looks cool with all those uh, cherry blossom trees or at least that is uh, what it reminds me of it is a little bit snowy it seems to be the guillotine, or uh, however that is pronounced, will also find its way in the mods update, so you can chop off people's heads. And it's pretty brutal, because you can uh, put those heads also on display. My god, my god, that is insane. But I think this is, <laughs> it is a nice feature, and if you are getting beheaded, if you put your head through it, you can still look around until your head is being chopped off. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it is a brutal mechanic, oh my god. And in one of the previous videos I've told you about the changes for the ship of the damned. They will have different sizes and the different sizes mean uh, they come also in different squads. So for example you have two galleon ship of the damned and they are pretty hardcore to fight and uh, the loot will also be big and then for example you have a schooner size ship of the damned they will be coming in squads of five for example they say that they are not planning to make them into killing machines or being an immense threat you still have a choice uh, to fight them or not and uh, like now the targeting range and the countings is still the same however it should be noted that they will now share the same target when attacking and i think that sucks really i think that sucks because if you come across uh, a squad and you're for example with two schooners well then a squad of five uh, ship of the damned schooners will attack that one schooner and the other schooner uh, will just be freely roaming around so that means uh, yes ships are going to be destroyed much faster than so that concerns me a little bit. It makes sense if you're just one ship battling a squad of ship of the damned. But it doesn't make sense if you come in with a group of ships and they all attack one ship. Because I can imagine that if a lot of them uh, will attack one ship at a time. Then uh, that ship is going to be sunk pretty fast. Okay, new cosmetics. Well, we're gonna have pack legs and hook hands. And uh, yeah, you can see them in a picture over here. They also change this up a little bit because they say you will not be able to equip both left hand and left leg at the same time. But previously they said something else. Uh, you'll actually be able to equip um, a left and a right peg leg and a left and a right hook hand. So, so you if, you wanna have, if you want to have two peg legs and two yeah. hook hands, uh, have at it. <laughs> Why not, you know? Uh, apparently uh, we cannot do that anymore so that sucks a little bit because <laughs> I was looking forward to those weird uh, creature like things with uh, no legs and no hands but it seems that uh, yeah they're gonna uh, want to get rid of it so if you have a left hook then you cannot have a left uh, peg leg and uh, vice versa if you have a right hook then you cannot have a right peg leg but you can have a left hook and right peg leg or vice versa the new cosmetics over here we can see uh, the height one the height version we can see the plate version here as well and then we have the fur armor version they are still working on it so uh, they are still tweaking it and here we have the cloth version and uh, this will be needed to be tweaked and colored and that kind of things as well the grappling hook has also been changed and I think I like this so you can swing around like some kind of a spider-man and I think this is really cool and makes it more fun to play around with grappling hooks. There is plenty of more in the update notes and if you want to read them all I leave a link in the description and you can check it out for yourself as well. So let me know in the comment below what do you think of the mods update, what do you think of the vibe and all that kind of stuff. I'm really curious to that so leave that in the comment below. So that's it for this video, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did then leave a like, leave any thoughts about this video or update in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already want to see more in the future then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I'll see you all in the next video stream. Bye bye!